Hi, what brings you in today? Um, I just, my partner and I have been arguing lately and, and you know, I just thought maybe I could talk to someone. Okay, um, so when you say that you guys have been arguing lately, like, can you kind of, um, elaborate on, like, what's been going on? Well, um, like, I'm not sure exactly what's going on. I know that, you know, we, we've been together three years. We moved in together about a year ago. In the last six months, it just seems like we're arguing more and more. Um, and the only thing that I can see that's changed is um, they seem to be drinking a little more than, like, in the past. Um, but, you know, um, and then we just, you know, we tend to argue about stuff that isn't really the end of the world kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So when you say like that he's been drinking about how much, like per week, maybe would you say that that looks like, like most days of the week, maybe? You made an assumption when you said he. My, my partner and I, um, they, they, you know, it, it started off like we would go out on occasion, maybe once or twice a month on the weekend, you know, um, maybe at get togethers, have a few drinks and, but in the last six months, you know, it's, it's been a little more often for them. They, um, you know, uh, because sometimes we work overtime and we work in different places. Uh, they'll stop after work or go out with people after work because I'm working over so that, you know, there's no need to be at home um, or, you know, things like that. So I, I guess to answer your question, um, probably once or twice during the week and then either Friday or, or Saturday night seems to be more of a the current pattern mm -hmm. so when you say like that your partner that that's like one of the only changes that's happened um do you think that that could be contributing to why you guys are arguing well um i i i don't know if there's something else going on i just know that's the only change that i'm aware of so I, i'm assuming you know, mm -hmm. I, I mean, I'm I'm concerned about their their drinking, but you know, I don't know if that's the what's going on with them. I'm not sure what's going on. Okay, so have you like I don't know, um, maybe like asked any questions relating to like what's going on like have you like let your partner know how you feel at all or um no not not directly i mean i i've made some comments like you know uh i thought you were gonna come straight home from work you know um i, I didn't know you were gonna stop and have a couple of drinks um but i mean i i haven't said anything directly because i'm not i i don't know necessarily uh what to say and you know I'm, I'm i'm fearful a little bit you know and how they're gonna take it and what the outcome might be mm -hmm. so so i would say that by some of the things you've told me about not being you know sure of how you feel about this and like how this is a change that maybe you're feeling a little like uncomfortable with this change and not knowing where to go maybe um yeah there there are moments I'm unsure what what to do I mean I I we we made plans you know mm -hmm. we, we moved in together we talked about a future together I I care about them I love them um, and, you know, there, there are moments, you know, they're getting further 
a way, but in the beginning, you know, we were committed and, and on track and, and enjoyed each other's company. Mm -hmm. you know, and I miss that. Yeah. So I see that this is a long-term relationship that you mentioned previously that you guys have been together for three years and now you've moved in together. That's a big step to take. And, um, you know, I can see by the tone in your voice and the way you look that you really do care about this person or, you know, you wouldn't be here today talking about how to, you know, make the relationship better and to solve this for you and your partner and so I see um, that you care and everything and you know are wanting to get through this change and to over you know get through it um, have you have you really thought about like where you want to go from here though like with like what you like want to say to them or no, um, no, I, I mean, I think that's part of why I, I've come in. Uh -huh. I mean, I, I, I know that I need to talk to them. Uh-huh. And, and, you know, I'm not, I mean, there's some fear involved in that, and, and I'm not sure how or where to start the conversation. I do know, though, um, there needs to be a conversation. Mm-hmm. So it seems like, um, you know, that this does need to be addressed, but you just don't know, like, the exact maybe words to say. Um, so when you said, like, you're, you know, kind of unsure of, like, what that conversation will look like or, you know, like, the fear of, like, bringing that kind of a topic up because you don't know how the other person is going to like react when you say, you know, when you like discuss the issue. Um, like what kind of strengths do you think that you would bring to that kind of a conversation? Well, I, I think uh, the, the strengths, like I do have one good friend that I've kind of been talking to so, you know, I have a little bit of support and, um, you know, I was willing to take the risk and, and come in here and talk, talk to you to maybe, you know, uh, fill things out a mm -hmm. little bit. Um, so I think that's, you know, a, a strength that if there's something I believe in or want, you know, I'm willing to do the work to get it or take the risk. Um, and so I, th I think... You know, if I if I just maybe sit down and and think about it a little bit and maybe write out what it is I'm trying to say that maybe you know that will help me feel more comfortable in in talking to them. So I think you know I'm somebody who kind of likes things in front of me mm -hmm. to help me if I get stuck. So. Well, it seems that you you know, realized more things that you are able to do in order to like prepare yourself for this conversation than maybe you had originally thought. So I hope that that's a good takeaway from our conversation here today, that I hope you feel more comfortable and a little less fearful when you bring this topic up to your partner. I, I think, yeah, I think it was, you know, um, helpful and um, if it's, I, I would like to come in and maybe talk with you again, you know, um, if that's okay. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, it'd be great. I think that, you know, I can see how you benefited from this conversation that at the beginning, you know, you were a little bit fearful that you're a little unsure of what, you know, it would look like. And I think that maybe realizing some of these strengths like the support from a friend or how you could benefit from preparing yourself by like writing some things down that you want to say so when you know you're kind of in the moment you maybe that helps you um to be more strong and to you know um 
with what you want to say and everything. So I hope that that really helps and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I think it, I think it, I think it will. Yeah, I think so too. I think that really sometimes does help when you um, write things down and, you know, prepare yourself. And I'm glad that I could help you today. Yeah, it would be great if you'd come back in and we could discuss this a little bit more. Okay, that sounds good. Thank okay, you. Okay, yeah.